What better time of year to visit the Holy Land than the Christmas season? As part of his new documentary series, Incredible World, today's senior international correspondent Keir Simmons took a solemn trip to Israel. And Keir, it looks like it was quite the remarkable journey. Hey, Craig. Yeah, you know, this is one of my favorites from uh, Incredible World, which is all about uh, going back, uh, looking back on the places we've visited. We can't travel so much right now, so taking uh, people there. And, you know, guys, that's what faith is about, or partly, isn't it, about finding that place inside ourselves, about the places and the people we can't maybe see right now, but who we can still connect with. So sit back, relax, and let us take you to the place that Christmas is all about. Jerusalem, home to one God and three religions. For Christians, a place of pilgrimage. We are walking where the Bible says Jesus himself walked 2,000 years ago. To visit Jerusalem is to travel back in time, where the archaeologists are revealing the ancient underground city, stone by stone. Pilgrims thousands of years ago... From we joined Doran Spellman to witness what has been the world's biggest historical dig. And you can imagine this was open to the sun. It was a beautiful pilgrimage road here. In the time of King David, in the time of Jesus, people walked this road to the Siloam Pool. There was music, there was incense, there were people singing. All this is written about in Jewish texts. Jesus, the Bible says, performed a miracle here. A journey in the footsteps of Jesus takes us to the Negev Desert, from where the Bible says three kings came. Two millennia later, I go stargazing with amateur astronomers Wafa and Dawood. Three wise men came from the east, records the Bible, following a star. They were the astronomers of their day. You know, they were experts in astronomy. They were uh, using the science of astrology. This is where the star guided the three kings to Bethlehem. And this very spot, the Church of the Nativity, built some 1,700 years later above what is thought to be that humble stable where Jesus was born. We enter through this tiny doorway. But once inside, the detail is exquisite, is beautiful. From such humble beginnings, this incredible church and incredible story. The story of Jesus ends back in Jerusalem, where Father Grenier takes us into the house where Jesus is thought to have held the Last Supper. Take this and divide it among yourselves. When the Romans came, they destroyed the temple and they destroyed this place also. But they rebuilt it on the same place. Now, Father David takes me to the old city where Jesus was sentenced by Pontius Pilate. Today we see the masks. In the time of Jesus, it was the Temple of Jerusalem. So in the place where we stand was the Roman fortress Antonia. That was the place where Pilate would have been. This is the first of the Stations of the Cross. That's the first station. Mm. So now we are quite literally walking in the footsteps of Jesus, following the 14 Stations of the Cross. So we've reached the fourth station. Yes, that's the place where Jesus met his mother. And this is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre which, believers say, contains the final four stations. Underneath the altar, we can touch the rock of Golgotha, in the place where the cross of Jesus was. And the Edicule, thought by some scholars to house the remains of Jesus' grave, for Christians, the holiest shrine of all. The very place, it is said, where Christ's body was brought after the crucifixion. To come here for the first time and to imagine that this is where Jesus was resurrected, it's awe-inspiring. But did events take place exactly where we think they happened thousands of years ago? There is no scientific proof. And that is perhaps the very definition of faith.
And guys, if that doesn't leave you feeling Christmassy, I have one last shot. I brought some tinsel from my Christmas tree in the house where I'm broadcasting from. And there you go. That's that's my last last attempt. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Very boom. nice, Kier. There you, you go. Know, I got to go to that church, Kier, uh, on, on an Easter Sunday about 25 years wow. ago. And it was one of those things that changes wow. you forever. Mm. Yeah. That was a, uh, it, a it, fascinating It really look, does. My <laughs> It really does, guys. It, it's, a, it's an amazing experience. And Thank let's you. hope that in time we're all going to be able to have those experiences again. Oh, Amen. Absolutely. Thank yes, you, Kieran. By the way, that, that full episode of Incredible World, uh, the Holy Land, every night this week at 7 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on Today All Day, our streaming channel, uh, that's on Peacock and Today.com slash all day Chanel such a, if you haven't gone to today.com slash all day check it out this afternoon there's such great content all day long you'll find all sorts of stuff you'll get your fill of us that's for sure wow. all right <laughs> I don't like the sound of that no it's really actually I watched it the other day all day hence the name